Okay. Yeah, let's join here. Again, with another video about the Safari Common Fiber. I've been getting a lot of questions concerning how you can change your Safari Common Fiber password. And it has taken long to make this video, but now I'm making it because there's been a lot of questions concerning the same. So there are two options I'm going to give you about changing the password, Safari Common Fiber password. And the first um, option is you can download the My Safari Com app. Not my M-Pesa app, my Safaricom app. Yeah, because there are two apps, Safaricom apps. There's that one for M-Pesa transactions and my Safaricom. Even my Safaricom can, can make transactions, M-Pesa transactions, but it has got more options um, about uh, more options of um, airtime. Um, yeah, basically, it has got the M-Pesa one, which is only meant for M-Pesa transactions purely but this sub my safaricom app has other options so i'm talking about my safaricom app you can get it um from the play store just download it from the play store and there's um once you download you log in using your number and in the same same um app you're going to see an option of the safari common fiber click on it then you choose your account i'm sure every, everyone was good um the safari common fiber they've got that account number once you choose the options you're going to see your safari common fiber account number you click on that and it's going to take you to the um to your safari common fiber page now there you can you can see the um, the rest of the prompts one of them will be change my password that is inside my safaricom home fiber uh, so, sorry my safaricom app we are going to see that that option there's also another option i'm going to tell you you can also um call 400 and talk to an agent safari common fiber agent and tell them that you want to change your password and the first thing they're going to ask you is your old password you've got to remember your old password and if you don't remember maybe you can you can last with them on how you can arrive at a different password um, but i'm not sure about that because every time i've called them to change my safari common fiber password I used to remember my previous password because I'm sure most of you want to change your password because um, I've been getting questions of how you can kick out someone um, or remove them um, from your network someone who's, go who's logged into your Safari Common Fiber network and you want to kick them out um, so basically you can just change your password once you've changed your password, you're going to kick everyone who's logged in without, with or without your permission. If you change your password, you're going to kick everybody who's logged into that network out. The only person, um, even you, it's going to kick you out, you've got to log in um, afresh. Yeah, so that's a question I've been getting um, for the past few months concerning changing your password your super common fiber password so if you find this video informative if you like it um, you can just subscribe and i've realized um 90 of my viewers have not yet subscribed to my um to my channel so you can subscribe and turn on the post notifications so that if i post anything you're going to get a notification thank you peace out